Hello, lovely learners. So this is our at-home artifact template. So what you are going to do is you're going to think about, hmm, have I been a productive collaborator or an effective communicator while at home? Nothing to do with school, but while you're at home. So let's think about what that might look like. So a productive collaborator, maybe you've helped with snack. Maybe you've helped do the dishes or help with siblings. Maybe you've helped make your bed or you've helped clean your room. Any of those chores that you might have done or working with someone else to do something, that would be productive collaborator. So if you've done any of those things while you've been at home, go ahead to that slide two and you'll see it says productive collaborator. See how this picture? matches this picture right here and you're going to finish this sentence i helped at home by blank so what did you do at home that you that was helpful what did you do at home so i helped at home by maybe you're going to say um working with my grandma to do the dishes okay and then you could add a picture or a video here. If you're not sure how to do that, see if you can get a grown-up's help. But what you're going to do is you're going to go insert at the top, and you're going to go image, and you're going to search from this computer, upload from computer, and then you can find your computer, you can find that file wherever it is in your drive or on your device. Okay, and then you would hit open to insert the, the video or the picture. Okay. Now if you think you might have been an effective communicator, so where this yellow, these speech bubbles are, that means maybe you've communicated to your grown-up a dislike that you have, maybe something that hasn't gone well. Maybe you've had to talk with a grown-up about that. Or maybe you've had to request a want or need. Maybe you really, really, really wanted something from the store. Maybe you really wanted those cookies and you had to ask your grown-up for those cookies. And maybe your grown-up listened to you and couldn't talk to you and told you why maybe the cookies weren't good and you told them why they would be good. That's effectively communicating, requesting a want or a need. And this could be in any type of communication. So maybe you were signing it. Maybe you were using approximation or gestures or any of those other types of communicating. Maybe you wrote a letter. Maybe um, that was how you were communicating. If you've done any of that while you've been at home, go ahead to slide number three. And again, you'll see, oh, that symbol and those words match what I was just looking at. And again, you'll just, I helped at home by, click to add your text, I helped at home by talking with my grown-up about the candy or cookies, candy I wanted from the store. And then, again, you could insert a picture here. If you need help doing that, get a grown-up's help, but you're going to do insert, and you could do image and upload from this computer, or if it's a video, you would do video, okay? All right, so hopefully you have been a productive collaborator or an effective communicator while you've been at home. Once you finish this, give it to your teacher, turn it into your teacher, um, and they will help you put it into your backpack, all right? Good luck.